Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim, and this is the first video in Privacy Playlist. Privacy Playlist is an initiative by me where I'm trying to teach people about digital privacy online. Almost everyone today is using a smartphone or a laptop or something or other kind that has internet connectivity and their data is being shared track and a profile is being created for them don't get scared too much it's not that complicated and scary but yeah the implications are a lot in this playlist we'll explore all these things all the technologies how these things happen how data tracking is being performed in real time and how it affects you we'll show some examples of some real things demos that we'll do it's not very technical but something to help you understand how everything fits into this we'll also talk about a few laws such as gdpr of the european union dpdp for india that was passed last year digital privacy data protection act something like that it's not yet enforced because the enforcement body is not constituted but at the time of recording this the law as we passed the provisions is there so we'll go through these in one of the videos we'll talk about each of these laws and compare it with other laws in different com uh, countries for example there's a law in california some ccpa kind of thing which gives privacy guarantees to the citizens of california so all these things will be coming up we'll also do some hands-on like we'll try to set up some privacy extensions privacy see measuring repos and tools and see what kind of data we are leaking and how we can protect it i'll also show you some of the live things that you can do in your day-to-day -day life to make your data more secure and it's almost like 15 to 20 videos so all these videos are less than 10 minute videos and it's very easy to grasp still recording this while you're seeing this and still have to record a lot of these videos the idea is to have two videos coming every week tuesday and thursday and it's not very deep hands-on that you need to have be on the laptop to follow these along you can just watch it whenever you are free and you can share it with your other friends and make them more aware in this digital economy as it's mentioned attention is the new uh, I would say coin in this economy where everyone is trying to get attention to sell something to you with that said let's start with this first video what is online privacy in the simplest term online privacy is all about controlling what personal information you want to share with the world it could be a browsing it it could be a location it could be what kind of food you choose it could be what kind of restaurants you go what kind of activity you do for example you track your activity on strava you track your day-to-day -day commute on google maps or apple maps so all these things whether they you want to share it with someone else or not apart from the service provider so those are things that constitute online privacy some of the serious things that come into place where technology plays a major role in tracking people online is you might have heard about cookies where you would have gone to websites where it shows accept cookies and all that so we'll talk about that technology how third party cookie works some of the risks about not protecting your privacy the very famous argument that comes into play is that I don't have anything to hide I'm sure you don't have anything to hide definitely you can give me your details and share all the sensitive things that you would want but apart from that even if you don't have anything to hide there are things or subtle ways or dark patterns if you might want to say very popular term these days so these dark patterns these advertisement moguls they try to sell you things or nudge you in a certain way just because you have searched something for example let's say you have searched about brain scans and then you have searched about a brain clip because these tracking technology is so pervasive that they would understand that okay you might be suffering with some brain disease or you might be looking about someone when you close the relative when you close affinity who is looking about getting a brain scan or something like that and the next moment you go on any website and start seeing ads about brain scan brain supplements how to keep your brain healthy all these kinds of things you would start seeing it it kind of signs, sounds like creepy and that is how it is but don't get too scared it's very easy to block these things and get control over data let's talk about social media platforms and privacy on that so one of the aspects was when you're just browsing the web or using apps to get food get taxi get packages delivered all those kinds of things but what about social media social media constitutes a majority of our day-to-day -day life we post a lot of pictures we like other people's pictures we just view reads view so youtube shorts everything is there like quick of a second instant gratification all those kinds of things are there but every time you like a photo you like a video you swipe a reel you don't look at a reel because you don't find it interesting the algo trains itself for your particular unique eye this is where i'm talking about the big tech giants looking into your 
your privacy or trying to get to know you more so that they can target do a targeted advertisement in one of the videos i'll talk about the meta privacy policy for instagram i'll show you how much data it's trying to collect and no one reads those privacy policies i'm definitely for sure so i'll try to skim through it and quickly and make you understand what the things are what the implications are and how we can go to these settings to stop those kinds of targeted advertisements. Your data being shared to third party, all those things are there. There are ways to limit the sharing of data, but based on these dark patterns, the path to stop that sharing is not as easy as installing a logging into the app. For logging, you just might be using a fingerprint, but to stop that targeted advertisement, you might have to go into 10 levels of menu buttons, clicking in one button, then going into another, going into a third one, and then finally you might get an option that you can disable that. And these are common dark patterns that companies use we'll talk about that also in another video as i mentioned earlier as well it's very important to keep your kids safe in this digital surveillance economy if i would like to say as we'll see christy a researcher tag has mentioned it's a distributed surveillance economy we'll also see that article it's an article about how advertisers have labeled you into 650,000 different kinds of labels if you read that article you would understand how much surveillance is there how much you are being tracked what kind what kind of very minute details are there with the advertisement and other companies about you. We'll talk about that. I'll show you. I'll share those articles. Uh, I'll also put the article link in the description of this video. Coming back to the safety of kids and children, especially people who are vulnerable, how they can be safe when they're using online. What are things that you can take care of so that you can be sure that your kids are safe and they're not going or lurking in corners that they should not be on the website. So and I'm not talking about parental control. That's a very basic thing. But in general, what other things you can also train them that not to do and what are they at separate especially in the cases of gen AI it's very easy to create these fakes and other kinds of things so it's very important to have your privacy coming to the technical aspects of it we'll also see some of the things that you as a technical person not very technical but even if you have a laptop and you can just follow through how you can set up your own let's say backup server your photo backup your VPN your bookmarks manager your chatting your email service so all these can be self-hosted on less than a ten dollar investment per month on a rented server and everything you know for sure is under your control the data is on your server so you know for sure that it's under control for example i don't back up all my photos on google photos only which i go on a group trip and i have to share otherwise i have my whole like 200 gb of photos on my personal server that's backed up at my home so and i use a open source software called image to back up those so it's very easy and it's very intuitive that's there I'll, but yeah don't worry i'll talk about how to how you can set it up and it's very easy to do even the vpn part if you don't trust public uh, commercially available vpns that they might be keeping in locks or things like that it's very easy to set up and it would less take less than seven minutes eight minutes so not more than that so yeah i'll have dedicated visa videos on that with that said i hope you have a safe private journey while going through these videos and take care have a nice day see you